Good day, YouTubers, and welcome to my second how-to video. Today, we're going to talk about adding switches to Lippert's one control panel that's in a lot of RVs today. Control uses to control all of the lights in the main part of my fifth wheel. This particular interface box, if you look right here at the top, you can see the two buses where the tablet talks to this interface box. On this side over here is the output that actually turns on the lights. On this side is a row of inputs where I've actually connected wires from mechanical switches located inside my fifth wheel. So all you really need to do is find 12 volts, which I got from right here, the 12 volts that powers the module, and run that to the individual switches. The switches work either they're open or they're closed. When they're open, nothing's coming out. When they're closed, you got 12 volts or battery voltage. Some folks have actually completely bypassed this control module and just disconnected these wires here and run the switches directly to them. If you want to do it that way, um, you can use the app on your smartphone uh, or have somebody inside the RV turning lights off and on. Right now, in, you can either use a test light or a voltmeter. And by putting the test light on the terminals, you can see which ones are hot. In this case, this is my ceiling lights in the kitchen. Okay, thanks to the magic of video editing, we're now inside the RV and we can talk about the switches themselves and how they're wired. The light switch in 99% of the RVs out there. I bought this one from Amazon. It's made by JR Products. And really all that it does is either those two pins are electrically connected together or they're not. You have a center pin and an outside pin I chose to connect battery voltage to the center pin and the wire going to the interface module to the outside pin. It works either way. The thing we need to talk about is changing the setup on the one control panel. To get into setup, you tap the one control icon five times. And it's going to ask you if you're sure you want to do that. Now we're in the setup menu. In here you can change the setup on anything that one control controls. I want to get down to the multi-channel LED controller. And these are all the lights that are controlled by the one control panel. The one I added is um, for the kitchen range light. I separated that out of the ceiling lights. But anytime you add a mechanical switch to one of these, you actually have to go into the light itself and make sure that it's set as a toggle switch. Um, if there's no mechanical switch, Lippert sets that up as a momentary. Once you've done that, then you can escape back out of here and go back to the regular menu. The last thing I want to talk about is how this actually works now that I've added switches. Right now you can see that the kitchen ceiling light is actually on. Now I've turned on the chandelier, or I can turn off the kitchen light. When I do that, one control knows that. The other nice thing is, is that I still have the faders, so that if I do it from the one control, I can change the, the level. 
I've actually done that with my blue lights. That front cap light I've got dimmed all the way down. So now that these are on, I could actually turn them off from the one control panel or turn them back on and then off with the switch. Hopefully there was some useful information in here. Thanks for watching.